Hello everybody, this is Dreamer back for another Mega Park video. And we are here to build our first carnivore exhibit, what I like to call the Proceratosaurus Pit. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the uh, time lapse that's about to happen. And this, well, this is obviously the finished article. And once said time lapse is finished, there'll be a nice little montage at the end of the video, and then I will explain all the things I did. So without further ado, See you in 10.
Okay, so, yep, we have finished the Prosoratosaurus pet. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the first thing that stands out for you is my beautiful writing and spelling of Prosoratosaurus. Yeah, this is called I didn't know what else to put here, so I decided to put Prosoratosaurus here. And I had the space. Is anyone guess what this could be? It could literally be a uh, mirrored emoji for all you guys, for all I know. <laughs> and I did these torches around the exhibit. Because I, th I think it looks nice. It gives it a nice, nice aesthetic. Okay, now the exhibit itself is actually split in half. So we have like a foresty half here. And we have a burnt downy section by here. And I used the fog mod. Yes, I, I used the fog, this, this mist mod here to give it like a smoky effect. So it looks like the trees have been burnt down. Because these guys, these guys love their forests, so... I had to bash the forest up by here and then have a burnt section and have like a little human outpost by here. I don't know why, I feel like it just suits the like the little small dinosaurs. You know when you play the aisle and you have the uh, port area where all the Utahraptors hang out? Kind of something like that. Although it would be cool if the Proceratosaurus could get up here, but uh, unfortunately that won't happen and unless I use like the toolbox to lower the container through the floor but then that kind of defeats the point of the container being there then doesn't it and we got some uh, light in here to make it a bit more give it a bit more of a better aesthetics and we got a floating tree for some reason I may need to fix that we also have this little amenity area here we've got the uh, books where you can read about the Proceratosaurus we have um Proceratosaurus drinks and Proceratosaurus sized churros because they like them. But don't feed the dinosaurs, okay? Don't chuck the churros in the Proceratosaurus exhibit. They're full of sugar as it is. We do not need sugar high dinosaurs. And yes, if you're wondering what this is down here, this is actually a Lyplurodon exhibit. And you can even see like a shadowy figure underwater of a giant Lyplurodon. <laughs> Just for the, just um, just to appease your curiosity there, so yeah, I think I did a pretty good job. If it fits in the area nicely, we got some trees here, and this area is really starting to get full, which is awesome. Fill my parks to the brim. But yeah, that is it. Uh, quickest one so far. This one only took me about two hours. I say that because I'm a slow builder. You know, other, other guys that do, like, speed builds, they build in, like, ten, they build this in, like, ten minutes. And I'm like, bloody hell, how do you do that so quick? <laughs> My mind wanders when I do these builds. You won't see it during the time lapse, because I'll edit all that out. But my mind does tend to wander. But in terms of the builds I've done so far, this one's definitely been the quickest. And, yeah, hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and... And give me suggestions. What should I build next? I do have an idea in my in my head. I am going to do a feathered enclosure next. And I'm going to do it on top of this mountain up by here next to the sauropod exhibit. But that's for another session. Till then, ta-ta!